Hello, everyone, and welcome to Police Off the Cuff, Real Crime Stories. I'm your host, retired NYPD Sergeant Bill Cannon, a 27-year veteran of the NYPD. You know, initially, folks, I wasn't going to cover this case, but I think that it's uh, it's pretty important to do so, to cover it, because they talk about this case, you know, the trial of the century, and there's uh, there's the the two faces of OJ there, uh, who I incidentally knew him as a kid, as this great running back. First of all, for the University of Southern California, where he won the Heisman Trophy, and then for the Buffalo Bills, where he totally destroyed my New York Jets and breaking the then NFL record of rushing for 2,000 yards in a season, in a 14-game season. So that's you know, who we first came to know O.J. Simpson as, as this tremendous athlete. And then he ingratiated himself uh, as an actor, as a spokesperson, as a sportscaster. And he was one of probably the most likable people in the biz. And when, when he was charged with the murders of, Ronald Goldman and Nicole Brown Simpson. There's Nicole Brown Simpson on the screen and is Ronald Goldman with his sister. It's almost like we didn't we didn't want to believe it. We didn't want to believe that this, you know, American icon, this all Hall of Fame football player could do something so horrific. But then it became something so much bigger than O.J. Simpson, Heisman Trophy winner, O.J. Simpson, NFL Hall of Fame running back, O.J. Simpson actor, O.J. Simpson sportcaster, O.J. It became O.J. Simpson murderer. And when we looked into his background and we saw the domestic violence history that he had with his divorced wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, we started to believe that perhaps he was guilty of what he was charged with, you know. And then this case, of course, became, as they described it as, the trial of the century. And this case had every possible thing wrong with it that any criminal case could have. We have a judge, Judge Lance Ito, who became famous from this case, as did everyone involved in this case become famous. Um, my biggest criticism of him was that he allowed a homicide case to go on for nine months. That's outrageous. That's out Meaning he allowed too many things in to the case. Even the biggest homicide cases last six to eight weeks, 10 weeks maximum. You're talking nine months. That's outrageous. And that was how he, in my opinion, let this trial get away from him and let what was known back then as the dream team who you see on the screen right now, more or less do whatever they wanted to do. And he was quite, I think, intimidated by them and allowed them way too much latitude to do whatever they wanted to do with this case. So we're going to discuss this case we're going to look at it. We're going to look at how it became sort of a, a barometer for racial relations in this country. And we'll speak about that, and we'll speak about the victims, the family of Ronald Goldman, the family of Nicole Brown Simpson, and how this affected not just the people that were most intimately involved in it, the family members, but people throughout this country who were glued to their TV sets for nine months that culminated in a not guilty verdict against O.J. Simpson. And we'll discuss that, how that occurred. 